Uh, this is the second problem on uh, multiplexers and uh, it's again of 2014. Uh, we'll read out the problem. For the given 8 to 1 multiplexer, the output will be here. Their options are not given and you have to determine what will be the corresponding output in this particular type of multiplexer. See this multiplexer here. There are eight inputs to this multiplexer and there are four variables A, B, C and variable D. So there are four variables and multiplexer 8 is to 1. Actually if you are using uh, four variable uh, 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 implementation you actually need uh, 16 to 1 multiplexer but you can also do it by 8 to 1 multiplexer as well and uh, that is being done in this uh, particular problem. Uh, so uh, this we need to be implemented. Now what we'll do is we'll try to uh, write the outputs here for this multiplexer. See these are the three select line A, B, C. So the first uh, output will be A bar, B bar, C bar into the input here that is zero input here. Okay. Plus now this the second one. This will be A bar, B bar, C dot D. This is the output. D is the output here. So the output will be D is the input here. So this will be A bar, B bar, C and D. Next would be, this is 2. This will be A bar, B, C bar into 0. This will become 0. So this term, like this term, they will become 0. Then similarly you can write A bar, B, C, D. Then uh, next would be A, B bar, C bar 0. A, B bar, C, 0, A, B, C bar, 1, and A, B, C, D. So, uh, those uh, with 0, they'll uh, uh, go away. So, the terms uh, which are remaining here are the terms like A bar, B bar, C, D, A bar, B, C, D, plus A, B, C bar, and A, B, C, D. Now, these... Uh, could be uh, these min terms could be plotted on the Carnot's map. So this Carnot's map uh, you can uh, find here corresponding to this A bar B bar C D. You can find this is 0 0 C D 0 0 1 1. So this will give me this input here. This term will give me this one. Similarly, you can plot the all other ones on this Carnot's map and uh, you can then determine the output here. This will correspond to say this. This one will give me the min term corresponding to 0, 0, 1, 1. This is 3. This will be 3. This will give corresponding to 0, 1, 1, 1. So 1, 2, 4, 7. So this will corresponding to 7. And uh, this you can determine corresponding to 12. No, it's not corresponding to 12. This is 1, 1, 1, 1. So this will be 15. Corresponding to 15. Similarly, you can find out uh, uh, the other uh, min terms and uh, what is the corresponding summation value here. So uh, this is the expression uh, which you get for the output. So this is the output expression in this particular case. Thank you.